Greetings, everybody. Welcome to my my next um, playthrough. I'm Topsy Hatley. Fuck my life. I have a partner here helping me with this challenge run. Oh. I'm the frozen bits of information on your laptop, computer, Dell, whatever. Everything you do is because of me. Don't you see? I'm awesome. Kick ass, you know? I don't think that was as good as the first take, but it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, like he said, um, first take. Yeah, this is actually the second fucking take because... Now you gotta go to C. God damn it, I have to go to C. <laughs> it's, it's Super Metroid all over again. <laughs> it fucking is, dude. And for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, go check out my channel. Oh my god, like, my act my audio software crashed, and like, uh, in the previous episode, I actually, uh loaded a file that was already on here for some dumb reason. I don't know, maybe I played- It had to reset all on camera. Yeah, it was it was bad. It looked very unprofessional. But anyway, around this point in time, I think I asked um, Frostbites, who didn't introduce himself, um, <laughs> I, asked, I asked him to explain to the viewers, because I've never played this game ever, which is what the challenge is about, is it's a 1% challenge, yes, which a million people on YouTube have done, along the likes of um, uh, Mecha Prime and Ultra J-Man, I know they've done it, but they, uh, I don't think anybody's ever done it blind, and I'm stupid enough to try it, so... Yeah, but what yeah, I was yeah, saying yeah. is, I would like Frostbites to explain to everybody, like, what's actually going on in the game, like, what's what's the story behind all this, because I'm kind of skipping through it. Well, the other thing is that it was either this or an X-Buster only run, and this <laughs> seemed less merciful. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, no, no, it, it, well, yeah, it is the least, mer it's the less merciful, and yeah, it's all that stuff. Mm. Anyways, here's what's going on here, okay? This, uh, this game takes place after Metroid Other M, haven't played it yet, but I've heard some, I've heard some positives, negatives, I'm gonna check it out when it goes for like five bucks. <laughs> What, what happens is that you're checking out some kind of derelict planet or whatever, and you get attacked by a creature known as the X-Parasite. The X-Parasite absorbs itself onto creatures and whatnot. It does a whole bunch of things that I'll explain later, because like I told Topsy here, um, right before we started doing the second take, if I explain all the differences in this game and every little thing, we'll be here for the first part for like 40 fucking minutes, so I gotta learn to pace myself. Here. Yeah, we're, we're doing 15 minute increments. Can you space that apart? <laughs> I, I can do my best. Anyways. <laughs> Um, the X Parasite, it, um, it, it, the base, as you can see, it's like a gooey gel. It infects whatever it attaches itself to. Now, um, Samus here doesn't notice anything different about it until she starts flying in her ship, and then all of a sudden her battle suit gets completely infected. I, I think I think what it does is it puts her in a stasis, and that's why she ends up crashing. I don't know. I don't really read the intro of this too well myself. I just know the back basis of it. Now, the X-Parasites are the prey of the Metroids. And what they do is that the baby Metroid that she saved, um, they're able to use that the baby Metroid's DNA in order to come up with a cure to get rid of the X-Parasite that is infecting Samus. Um, what it also does is that it infuses the x did not, not infuses the X-Parasite, but it infuses the Metroid within Samus herself. So now whenever an X-Parasite tries to absorb her, she will absorb it instead because now she is part Metroid. Or at oh, least wow. half the battle suit is. Now as you can see, you, you can see half the battle armor and half of the Zero suit. Um, this is what's known as the Fusion suit, which basically is, you know, if you, if you read um, what was going on, is that her battle suit got infected by the, some, some of the parts of the battle suit got infected by the X parasites and so therefore they had to be taken off. So at least now there's a legitimate reason as to how she lost her powers. Okay, that does make a lot more sense now. Like, and we honestly didn't get that far, so you guys didn't miss much from the first take. Um, we only got like to the end of this, and then I realized, hey, shit happened. So yeah, shit happens. But so I mean, like, I, I, you know, just to further say what I was saying before, I have not played this game at all. I mean, I'm, I, I have this mentality where I'm accepting this challenge because, like, I'm good at Super Metroid, and I love that game, and I know how to exploit that game. So I figured, you know, why, why not take that skill to a different game? How much different could it possibly be? <laughs> Yeah, well, let's see, the thing is, is that it's a lot of people claim this to be like the Super Metroid uh, just just, uh, just for the Game Boy Advance. And it it really is because a lot of uh, there's a lot of differences in the mechanics as far as the way the game is played, which I'll be explaining throughout the parts of the videos and whatnot. And but it there, there's a lot of similarities too. again, which I will go over once we actually start going through it and all that fun stuff. First thing that you're going to be noticing here in the map is on the top right, you have L1, L2, L3, L4, different colors, and they all say locked. 
don't open doors with power-ups like you would in Super Metroid. Instead, you have to find the security um, locks, um, the the security the security lock panels, and unlock them in order to unlock these doors. Which uh-huh. is really nice because then you're not going around wasting five missiles just to open a simple door. <laughs> you know, it it just it takes a regular shot like everything else, which. You know, for for those of you back home who actually care, you know, Metroid Fusion was actually the very first Metroid game I've ever um, played and beaten. So when I went back to Super Metroid, I was really confused why doors would not open. (laughs) Wow. Is this really how this game controls? It's, like, sticky almost. It's, to me, like... It's more fluent than Super Metroid. Super Metroid had, you know, I mean, it's nothing against the game because the game is fantastic. I love that game. How, how, do, you, how do you angle downward? Stiff. How do you angle downward? You press down. Are you, well, are you kidding me? You have to manually yeah. angle up and down? Yes. Oh, there's no shortcut for that anymore? Nope, because the other one that would usually angle down is the one that skips through your power-ups because they took it off select, thank God. Ah, can I not jump? Oh, I can jump. Okay, good. Yay. No, the nice thing is that you can grab on the ledges. Oh, well, fuck, <laughs> there it is. There you go. <laughs> Shit, all right, well. You can, you can also wall jump like you do in Super Metroid. The only difference is that you can't wall jump off of one wall. Wait, oh, you sh- really? You can't? All yeah, right, you on. can't. It's not as... Oh. It, it, it does force you to go in the opposite direction, and you will drop a lot faster unless... Uh, wait. You know, un- un- unless you um, go go to the opposite wall. So it's a little bit more nerfed, and it's not as ex- it's not as big of an exploration as Super Metroid was, because even as you can see here, you have this computer... Um, basically telling you where you need to go. Whereas in Super Metroid, it was just thrown in the middle of nowhere. Let's just do it sort of thing. Okay, so silver doors I can't open. I, this is all just me right now trying to get used to the game's engines. Yeah. Like, I haven't played this game, and it's it's much different, so I gotta get used to it before and I just... Soon, and soon the white doors will be openable. Um, right now, it's just only open doors you can go through, and then um, the computer is able to hack the system. This is basically just like oh. uh, it's a tutorial showing you, as you'll Die, be able bitch. to see, that you can now absorb them. Okay, that's what I figured. Like... And what was this? Was that all I came here for? Yes, that was. That, that's all you came there for. You're gonna go back, back to the computer, so we can discuss about how you were able to absorb them. Oh, oh, to know I know about the parasites. There are three different colors: yellow, green, and red. Yellow will heal. Yellow will heal you. Green will um, add into your missiles, power bombs, all that stuff. And then red will do a combination of both at a greater scale. Basically. Oh, okay, so... You don't get red ones that much. Only at the eye doors do you really get them. Okay, there's a example of what the X is, then. The yes. parasite that I absorbed or whatever. Which, that screenshot, I think, just looks awesome. Just... It's freaking creepy, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, because... Okay, I see what you're saying now. Because I'm actually infused with the Metroids, I can, I, that's why I can absorb them. Exactly. Oh. But that's going to come back to bite you in the ass later on. Oh, good. I, I like biting... In the anal cavity, I like that. Bad joke, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm actually like, when is this gonna start getting to the point where it's gonna be like impossibly hard for me to do? Because like, okay. I mean, this is all introduction right now, so like, it's. <sighs> See, here's the thing, because there are some enemies that can catch you off guard and really hurt you, like for a lot of damage. Oh, uh, nice. Which. I want to say about halfway through the game, but again, I'm thinking more of the stance of what I've played, you know? I know that if I did a 1% run, I could get about halfway through before actually running into some difficulties. As far as a newcomer, it's hard to say. Okay, so do you have to shoot the doors to open them, or...? Yes. Oh, okay, so... Am I going the right way? Fuck, I hope I am. Oh, there's yes. a save. You, well, you, are, you are going the right way. Might as well save, I suppose. Oh, uh, you want to use these often. <laughs> That's what I figured. But yeah, I made a mention of this in the first take we did. I'm going to make a mention to it now. There are two things I absolutely love about this game. For one, the sound clips of it. You know, shooting things sound so good. And especially when you get super missiles, just Wait. the sound of the destruction is amazing. Is that thing going to, like, wake up again? Yes. Is that a Castlevania zombie? Um, what it... 
it, it's not gonna do it right there, but in another area you'll see it where it's not so much a castle, it won't just like rise up again. Another X parasite will come and reinfect it to rebirth it. Oh, good. So it makes a little bit of sense. But the other thing I love about this game is the music for the game. The music is. It, 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 it adds the intensity. It gives a great atmosphere to every room you're in. And especially like going against bosses, you know, because um, every single boss has a different theme song, oh, which wow. is really good. And like, I, um, and comparing it with Super Metroid is like, you know, Super Metroid, it, it's a little bit soft. You can barely hear it. This one, it makes sure that you can hear the music clearly. Oh, whoa. What is this? This is, um, every now and then when you get in a little elevator sequences, um, it'll be Sam is talking about whatever. She's talking about Adam Malkovich, you know, her old CEO partner that's in Metroid Other M. Yeah. Like, older lady and all that stuff. The computer you find out is basically Adam Malkovich, or at least it's memories put in a computer. Oh, interesting. It's pretty cool. It's not a huge point, but, I mean, it, it, it's there. Uh, you know, it lets you know about it. Okay, I'll go in this one first. Watch me be wrong. Okay, I think I think the bottom two, you got a recharge room. Yeah, the nice thing about recharge room is that it'll recharge everything, your health and all your items. Okay. Um, so there's no having to go around finding a missile room and then an energy room. You want to go to the top one. I mean, not the very top one. The very, it's, yeah, the red, it's red. I can't go in the red doors yet. Well, see, and the funny thing is that this door... Um, and you're about ready to get the morph ball here, I oh, believe. Missiles. No, missiles. Oh, missiles. Oh. what you're getting. Instead oh. of getting them the usual way, you get them downloaded to you, which is really weird, but I think it's kind of cool. Hold R. Oh. Yep. Oh, wow, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> it's going to be awkward, but the great thing about it is, like I said, you don't have to select through all the items you have. You can just be like, I want to use a missile. Hold R, shoot, let go of R, and then you go back to regular shooting. There's none of this crap of, you know, having to select it, shoot it, then deselect it, you know? You just hold R, shoot, let go of R, boom, you're good to go. I think that it was, like... Going from Super Metroid, I mean, not Super, um, going from Metro Fusion back to Super Metroid really threw me back a bit. Hold, hold because on. of all these little, all these little details, like holding R to shoot a missile at, and then going to a game where I have to press select a few times. What to is do he, it. what is he saying right now? He said, okay, hope, hope he, he's saying that the elevator's not working, so you have to find another way to go down there. Oh, no, he's saying, I hope your missiles work. What does he hope they work against? Um, you'll see. <laughs> oh, nice. I can't get up there. Um, what's over here? Fuck! Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, it's gonna be. You gotta get used to the ledges. Ha! <laughs> cool. See, see how satisfying that sound is? <laughs> oh. You need to shoot them three times. Oh, okay. So they're, they're kind of like the updated doors in a sense. All right. I saw a green X. I think just now too. So. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Green X is like I said. They they will. Um, add on to your missiles. It's All really right. nice. Just like that. There you go. And for those of you who do not know, I'm going to be like extremely cautious in in this game because, like, you know, I've never played it, so I'll, I'm a little nervous. Like, I'll be honest. Like, if this was no, if this was like super, you can't get that. If this was like Super Metroid, I'd be totally okay with it. But like, since I've not played this game before, I'm a little like, what's gonna kill me? You know. Um, go to go to the right. The right. Oh, saves. Saves are good. Yes, okay, it is a save room. <laughs> saves are good. And then you want to go down and to the right. Is there a bad things going to happen down and to the right? Um, well, hang on a second. How far are we in a recording? I was going to say, it's around 13 minutes, so I might as yeah, well call let's it go here. Let's stop right here. All right, I might as well call it here, and then we can kind of um, dance. We can, can kind of like uh, go and uh, get myself into my first major amount of trouble next time. This was pretty much just a simple introduction video. Now you guys know I've never played this. Now you know I'm going to be terrible at it, so... You know, I'm a nerd when it comes to it. Yeah, so hopefully... Yay, I wasted missiles. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time.